Hey guys, we are at Overland Expo in Flagstaff, Arizona. This is like the world's largest collection of 4x4 builders, enthusiasts, manufacturers. If you want to spend a couple million bucks on getting lost, this is the place to do it. Let's check it out. So luckily the Overland Expo West this year is being held in Flagstaff, Arizona, which is not too far of a drive for us. It took like nine hours. It would have been shorter if we didn't keep stopping we did, for every we off road did, trail. We it's found. true, every off road trail. The Grand Canyon was pretty cool. But here we are with the coolest vehicles in the world and we're gonna go check it out. All right, tell me about your vehicle. Well, it's not mine, it belongs to Jeep, right? Okay. It's a 1962 Willys wagon. Uh, you get the best of both worlds. We're doing a 3D tour, VR tour of the interior of the HD. The, the dot is? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just wait? Yeah. <laughs> you, you're all sweaty. Yeah, you're gonna regret that. This is our XVHD, it's first of its kind. And what's the overall cost of this thing? This one's 1.5 million. 1.5. What makes it worth 1.5? The entire custom interior. Um, it's basically a house on wheels, right? So literally you can't take a step without the coolest Sprinter van, decked out truck, Jeep, FJ40. Literally every cool vehicle under the sun is here. There's a lot of money put into these vehicles. Ooh, and Darren found a wolf. Darren, you would so lose. <laughs> this is Luke from New Legend 4x4. So this is a 1979 Scout 2. Um, the thing that makes it unique is it's actually sitting on a brand new Jeep Wrangler chassis. So it's running AEV suspension, lift kit, coil over, um, links. It's all the good stuff. So it runs and drives like a brand new Jeep Wrangler. But under the hood we actually have a, a Camaro Corvette LS3. So we're pushing about 480 horsepower. So it, uh, the philosophy is kind of taking the best of aftermarket and OEM from today and putting it into a vintage package, so. All right, so out of all the camper trailers, tow and things that I've seen so far at the show, this is hands down one of my favorite. It's a company called Opus. Don't know anything about them, don't know where they're based out of yet. I'm sure I'll interview the guy and we'll find out in a minute, but these are incredible. It's super small on the outside, but then once you expand it, look at all this room. Hello guys, my name's Paul and I'm with the Opus Camper which is currently inflating. From unhitching, you can set this thing up in between five to seven minutes or so. Uh, we do that using uh, air tent technology. It takes about two minutes to inflate this bad boy, at which point you're good for about 55 to 60 mile an hour wind speeds or so. Hey, look at that. It's been about a minute and a half and it is raising up. Cool. Hey, I appreciate it. Good talking to you, thank you so much. All right, so we just got to the Land Rover driving course at the show. It's pretty cool. They have all the some of the older models and all the newer models of Land Cruisers. And anybody who has a pass, a driver's license, and passes a alcohol breathalyzer test gets to do this. Cruise around in the Land Rover on the course that they have set up and, uh, yeah, see what these vehicles can handle. This is how you get your motorcycle across about a 20 foot gap. That's pretty cool. Oh hey, how was it? You know, that's always like a, like, like kind of rolling dice, right? You hope you get a good one, and I got a good one. You got a good one? It was like kind of minty in there. You wanna, you wanna go tip one of these over? <laughs> <laughs> 
We are with the Hachamic. We are out of western Nebraska where there are no trees. So my husband designed the Hachamic. It is a hammock holder, a cargo carrier, and a charcoal grill that they all fold up or stow so that when you're driving down the highway, you just have your cargo carrier. So this is Christian and this is Kristen. She uh, owns Verde PR, which is our PR firm and kind of getting into this space, so we're yes. going to go check some things out today. Yeah, stoked to be here. There's no reason that these two markets, outdoor and overland, shouldn't be together. So. Alright Christian, what have we accomplished so far? We ate some food. We did eat very good truck food. Dude, I don't know how you're walking right now. That was like four pounds of mac and cheese. It was so good. Pork on top. <laughs> I might go vomit in the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> what else have, what this else have we done? This is a pretty interesting situation out here. I mean, we've seen some crazy 4x4s. I mean, the kind of vehicle you could literally live in your whole life. Like every cool rig you could imagine. Any rig you've seen on like with a hashtag van life on Instagram, it is here. Yeah, pretty awesome stuff. Very expensive. <laughs> but, uh, Some of these cost, oh, what was the most expensive one we saw? 1.5 million. 1.5 million. That's a pretty nice house in most places in the world. Oh, behind us. We're also stopping traffic. We are inconsiderate. Thank you. Christian's always getting us in trouble. Yeah, you know, I'm a rule breaker. I think this is why you shouldn't vlog and walk. Which, by the way, this is getting heavy. Is it? So I have you guys, the camera, sitting on a, sitting on a glide cam, and dude, after all day wielding this thing, this is a full-on arm workout. Good, you needed it. I needed. It. I was looking pretty weak sauce. <laughs> well, guys, that's it. Uh, I'm sunburned. Creighton looks like a lobster. We saw about a hundred million dollars worth of vehicles. We've got some really cool ideas on what we're gonna build for cars. So. That's it from Overland Expo. Hope you enjoyed the little uh, little recap of the day. And remember, don't die. Am I really that lobstered? Dude, look at <laughs> Look at that. Can you make a smiley face in my chest? Uh, do I need to call HR? <laughs> <laughs>